what is humility? First of all, we need to define what humility isn't. It's not necessarily speaking with a soft voice or a well-spoken voice. It's certainly not putting yourself down all the time and it's not having a poverty mentality either. A great biblical description, definition of humility we find in Philippians chapter 2. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. But how do we keep humble before God and before people? Three quick points that I want to share in this message that will help us to keep walking that path of humility. First of all, be content with what we have. Great passage in Philippians chapter 4. I am not saying this because I am need. I am in need, the Apostle Paul writes, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, living in plenty or in want. I think what we find is that a contented person is less prone towards pride and arrogance and is more able to then comfortably walk the path of humility. 1 Timothy chapter 6, people who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge men into ruin and destruction. For the love of money, notice what the Bible tells us, not money, for the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. There's nothing wrong with money. It's when that money takes us over. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Some people eager for money have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. There's nothing wrong with having possessions. It's when possessions have us that the problems begin. So if we can be content with what we've got, whether we're blessed financially or not quite so blessed in that sense, but to be content with where we are and to be happy with our situation, that is a good starting point to walk this road of humility. Secondly, avoid worldly ambition. I read a very interesting article in a newspaper that basically stated people in general would be happier earning less if they had a grand title rather than earning more but having an ordinary work description title to go with their job. So people would would rather have this um, official sounding title making them perhaps more important than they really are and less money than they would to have the money and not really worry about what people call them. In 1 Corinthians chapter 7, lots of scriptures I'm quoting in this particular message. Nevertheless, each one of you should retain the place in life that the Lord has signed to him and to which God has called him. Each one should remain in the situation which he was in when God called him. Brothers, each man as responsible to God should remain in the situation God called him to. We may never be a brain surgeon. We may never be a professional footballer. We may never be a pastor. We may never be a teacher or whatever, but the thing is to do what God has called us to do. And when we do that, the title that we have and even the money that we earn is not important. It's about doing what God has called us to do. And when we avoid worldly ambition, then that also helps to keep us on the right path as far as humility is concerned. And thirdly, we need to see ourselves as we really are. Romans chapter 12. Do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment. A hall of mirrors. You can walk through a hall of mirrors and each mirror that you stand in can make you look something that you actually aren't. For example, you can be taller, you can be smaller, thinner, fatter, all sorts of 
images can appear in front of you when actually it's not the real you. And many of us in life, we try to project an image or we even see ourselves in a certain way when in fact that is not really the way that we are. Over the years, been involved with missions. I've run many missions into different parts of the world and people have been asked for references uh, from their pastor and also they will send a reference if you like from themselves telling us a little bit about themselves and very often what they think of themselves as opposed to what the pastor thinks of them you think that you would be talking about two different people because the way that they are seen by others is not the way that they actually see themselves. Romans 12, do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. There is no place in Christianity for snobbery. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, brothers think of what you were when you were called not many of you were wise by human standards not many were influential not many were of noble birth but god chose the foolish things of this world to shame the wise god chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong he chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are so that no one may boast before him and the key words in that are foolish weak lowly despised we need to get ourselves on to this reality track of seeing ourselves as we really are not how we think we are and when we do that and we avoid worldly ambition and we're content with what we've got then we're truly walking that road taking the steps that will keep us humble, not only before God, but also before people as well.